Hello everyone. Let us begin with addition and multiplication of random processes. Let us consider two independent jointly white sense stationary random processes x of t and y of t. And let us get w of t uh, which is the sum of these two random processes x of t and y of t. Then the autocorrelation function for w of t is given by r w of tau is equal to x expectation of x of t plus y of t, x of t plus tau plus y of t plus tau. So when we expand this, we get this as expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau plus x of t, y of t plus tau plus y of t, x of t plus tau plus y of t, y of t plus tau. Expectation of, we are applying linearity property. So, expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau is known as rx of tau. Expectation of x of t, y of t plus tau is rxy of tau cross correlation plus y of t, x of t plus tau is the cross correlation ryx of tau and expectation of y of t, y of t plus tau that is the autocorrelation of random process y of t that is ry of tau. Because x of t and y of t are independent, we can write that rxy of tau is equal to ryx of tau and that is given by the product of their mean that is mu x into mu y. If either one of them x of t or y of t has a mean then we can say that r w of tau is the sum of autocorrelation of x and y that is r w of tau that is autocorrelation or function for w of t is given by the sum of autocorrelation of random process x and we plus the autocorrelation of random process y. Multiplication of random processes. Uh, we have considered here two random processes x of t and y of t which are independent and jointly white sense state ready. Let us obtain the third random process W of t given by the product of these two random processes x of t and y of t. The mean of W of t, expectation of W of t is given by mu w that is equal to expectation of x of t multiplied by expectation of y of t that is equal to mu x mu y. The variance of W of t can be obtained as sigma w whole square is equal to expectation of x of t y of t minus mu x mu y whole square. That is given by the product of sigma x square plus mu x square multiplied by sigma y square plus mu y square minus mu x square mu y square. The autocorrelation function for W of t is given by R W of tau is the expectation of x of t y of t multiplied with x of t plus tau y of t plus tau. That is expectation of x of t x of t plus tau multiplied by expectation of y of t y of t plus tau. That is given by the product of the autocorrelation of x with autocorrelation of y. Thus, we can see that the autocorrelation of a product is the product of the autocorrelation. Let us now proceed with ergodic random process. So, we know that autocorrelation is an expectation and it is an average across an ensemble. That is, Rx of tau is given by expectation of x of t multiplied with x of t plus tau. So, 
here the random process is related to uh, as a related as a random variable but practical condition uh, constructing an ensemble of a measured data may be difficult and some cases it may be impossible so averages of sample data over time have the particle advantages over the ensemble averages limitation of averaging over the ensemble of realization first one huge amount of data is required in case of averaging second one it is may not be just laborious but sometimes it will be impossible to obtain the required data so we need to conduct lots of experiments to obtain the data some of the experiment may not be uh, we cannot repeat it uh, even twice um, and may not be cost effective also as we call a random process as ergodic if the time averages of the process tend to the appropriate ensemble averages it means that this symbol stands for averaging so the time average of x of t is given by limit t tending to infinity 1 over t integral of x of t dt and which the limit varies from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 the limiting process indicates the duration t over which the averaging takes place long enough to give a reliable numerical result whenever we do the uh, averaging we need lots of samples then only we can expect most reliable uh, numerical result so we have to choose this uh, duration t properly so that averaging process whatever we have taken uh, will be very close to the real time uh, process so autocorrelation function is given by the average of x of t x of t plus tau is the limit t tending to infinity 1 over t integral of product x of t with x of t plus tau and we are going to integrate this with respect to t over the limit minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. Let us solve some problems. First example, for ergodic process, show that the mean of the time average is equal to the ensemble mean. Let us first consider the time mean, that is mu x of t is given by 1 over 2t integral of x of t with respect to t over the period minus t to t. That's why we have taken it as 2t. If we take this as minus t by 2 to plus t by 2, then we can consider this as t. Let us take the mean of the above. It is expectation of mu x of t is equal to expectation of 1 over 2t integral x of t dt. This is as good as saying 1 over 2t integral of minus t to t is expectation of x of t dt. So therefore, we can say that expectation of mu x of t is equal to mu x of t. Thus, the mean of the time average is equal to the ensemble average. Let us consider the second example. For the random process, x of t is equal to a cos omega t t plus theta, where a and omega t are constant. Theta is a random variable which is defined as uniformly distributed between plus or minus psi. Show that this is ergodic. So, first and foremost thing what we have to find out here is the theta is a random variable which is uniformly distributed. Let us take a typical sample function obtained from the random process x of t t. x of t is equal to a cos omega t t plus theta where theta is some constant between the range uh, minus pi to plus pi. Let us take the average of x of t with x of t plus tau 
that is living p tending to infinity 1 over p integral of x of t x of t plus tau dt and it is uh, integrated between the limits minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. So limit t tending to infinity 1 over t 8 cos omega t t plus theta 8 cos omega t t plus tau plus theta dt. So this a and this a is multiplied so we have a square and it is divided by 2 because we are applying that this multiplication we are converted into the addition. So we get this as cos 2 omega t t plus omega t tau plus 2 theta plus cos omega t tau. This needs to be integrated with respect to theta. Between the limits, uh, with respect to t, between the limits minus t by 2, 2 plus t by 2. Uh, when we integrate this further, we get this as a square by 2 cos omega t tau, which is a constant, limit t tending to infinity 1 over t, integral of minus t by 2, 2 plus t by 2 dt. That is a square by 2 cos omega t tau. That is equal to Rx of tau. Also the mean and the variance of x of t over the time is same as the ensemble mean and variance. Therefore, x of t uh, is an ergodic or random process. Let us consider the next example, the third one. Given a random process, x of t a uh, constant k, where k is a random variable uniformly distributed between minus 1 to plus 1. We need to find out a uh, new x of t and uh, the co autocorrelation function rx of t1, t2 is the process Weinstein stationary, is the process ergodic. If the process is the Weinstein Weinstein stationary, what is its power Px? So let us first find out the uh, the PDF. Uh, since it is uniformly distributed over minus 1 to plus 1, it is half over the period minus 1 to plus 1. It is 0 otherwise. Let us find mu x of t that is by integrating at the product x into PDF with respect to x over the limit minus infinity to infinity. Let us substitute x equal to k here and the PDF is given by 1 over 2. Product k into half should be integrated with respect to k over the limit minus 1 to 1. So you get the answer here as k square by you get this as k square by 2 into 2 that is 1 by 4 we have to integrate over the limit minus 1 to 1 this gives you 0. Second one we need to find the autocorrelation rx of t1 comma t2 rx of tau that is equal to expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau. Here x of t is equal to k, x of t plus tau is also equal to k. So you get this as expectation of k squared. So let us integrate with respect to uh, x, uh, the product x squared into the PDF. Here x squared is equal to k squared and the PDF is half. We are going to integrate with respect to k over the limit minus 1 to 1. So therefore you get this as when you integrate you get this as q cube by 3 uh, half is a constant and this uh, k value varies between minus 1 to 1. So when you substitute this you get this as half so into 3 that is equal to 1 over 6 and here it is 1 plus 1. So you get this as 2 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3. Here if you observe the mean value and the autocorrelation function of the process are independent of the shift in time origin. Hence this process is white stationary, which means here 
x of t mu x of t is equal to 0 and r x of t1 plus comma t2 is also a constant value independent of time. Even if you observe here, x of t is equal to k, x of t plus tau is also equal to k. So therefore, x of t is equal to x of t plus tau. So therefore, you can say that it is white centenary. The time mean is given by mx of t is equal to limit t tending to infinity 1 over t. Uh, uh, we need to integrate x of t with respect to t over the time period minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. Limit t tending to infinity 1 over t k into dk. Uh, the limit as minus t by 2 to t by 2 it will give you 0. The time average autocorrelation function is given as rx of t minus t is limit t tending to infinity 1 over t the x of t x of t plus tau dt uh, the limit is minus t by 2 to t by 2. So when you substitute uh, integrate and substitute you get the answer as 0. We observe that rx of t comma tau t is equal not equal to rx of t that is Time averages and ensemble averages are not the same. Hence, this process is not ergodic. The average power of the process is given as Rx of 0 that is equal to 1 over 3. Rx of tau is given as 1, 1 by 3 which is independent of tau. So, therefore, uh, when tau is equal to 0, rx of 0 is also equal to 1 over 3. Let us solve some problems. First problem, the random process x of t has the autocorrelation function rx of tau is equal to 10 into 1 minus tau by tau n. The tau value varies between minus tau into plus tau n and it is 0 otherwise. The random process y of t is independent of x of t and has the autocorrelation function r y of tau is equal to 15 1 minus tau by tau and tau value varying from minus t to plus t and it is 0 otherwise where t is greater than tau n the random process y of t is defined as the sum of x of t and y of t. For z of t, find its autocorrelation function, its total power, its dc power, its at power, e z of t, y sense stationary. Let us find out the autocorrelation function of z of t. It is defined as the r, r z of tau, that is the expectation of product of x of t plus y of t, with x of t plus tau plus y of t plus tau. So that you get it as x of t into x of t plus tau. Expectation of x of t with x of t plus tau is defined as r x of tau. Then the expectation of y of t with x of t plus tau is defined as r x y of tau. And the expectation of y of t uh, x of t with y of t plus tau is defined as r y x of tau and the expectation of y of t with y of t plus tau is defined as r y of tau. Since x of t and y of t are independent, we can write r x y of tau is equal to r y x of tau that is the product of the mean uh, mu x and mu y. Rx z of tau, therefore we can write it as it's the sum of Rx of tau, Ry of tau, 2 times mu x mu y. So therefore Rx of 0 is defined as 10, that is sigma x square plus mu x square, Ry of 0 is defined as equal to 15, that is equal to sigma y square plus mu y square. The total average power is equal to 10 plus 15 that is equal to 25 that is the average dc power, AC average power. 
To solve the second problem, the random process x of t has the autocorrelation function rx of tau is equal to 15 times exponential of minus 2 modulus of tau, that is tau value varying between minus infinity to infinity. The random process y of t is defined as y of t is equal to x of t minus 3. Uh, first one, what is the autocorrelation function of y of t? And second one, what are the total power dt power ac power of y of t? What is the cross correlation rxy of tau? So ry of tau is the expectation of x of t minus 3, x of t plus tau minus 3. So when we expand it by using linear operation, we get expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau minus 3 x t minus 3 x of t plus tau plus 9. So expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau minus 3 expectation of x of t minus 3 expectation of x of t plus tau plus 9. So that will give you our expectation of x of t is x of t plus tau t t r x of tau minus 3 times expectation of x of t is mu x. So minus 3 mu x minus x 3 times expectation of x t plus tau that is also equal to minus 3 mu x plus 9. Since mu x equal to 0, so we have r x of tau plus 9. So therefore, Rx of 0 is given by, when you substitute the value of tau is equal to 0, you get exponential of minus 2 by tau is equal to minus 2 into tau will give you 1. So therefore, Rx of 0 is 15. That is equal to mu x square plus sigma x square. And Ry of 0 is given by x t minus 3. So Rx of 0 plus 9 that is equal to 15 plus 9, that is equal to 24. Because let us substitute in this equation, Ry of tau is equal to tau value 0. So therefore you get this as Rx of 0 plus 9. So that is gives you 15 plus 9, that is equal to 24. Total power is equal to 24, dc power is equal to 9 and ac power is equal to 15. Rxy of tau is equal to expectation of x of t, y of t plus tau. So that gives you expectation of x of t multiplied by x of t plus tau minus 3. That is expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau minus 3 x t. So that can be obtained uh, by applying linear operation. It can be written as E of x, expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau minus t x of t of x of t. The expectation of x of t with x of t plus tau is defined as autocorrelation function rx of tau minus 3 times mu x. So that mu x value is equal to 0, therefore this is equal to rx tau. Thank you. In the next video, let us study about power spectral density.